12 rivers and lakes statewide are now fully stocked with rainbow trout. Our Ike Ben David was there and tells us why the Fish and Wildlife Department wants to hear from you if you catch one. Parking alongside the Huntington River. 100 of each strain at each stop. This truck filled with hundreds of fish is stocking rainbow trout raised in a hatchery. Uh, specifically here today, though, we will be stocking two strains of rainbow trout. The Irwin R. Lee strain that we've stocked as a department for quite a while now in the new Eagle Lake strain of rainbow trout. The fish stocking is happening in 12 water bodies around the state. You know, one of our biggest challenges with the strain right now um, it's done really well for us you know in the hatchery we are we're evaluating it for catch for um, culturability within our facility so we're checking the feed rates growth rates um, disease susceptibility it's the third year the state has stocked the new strain as part of an evaluation comparing the previous strain we'd stocked with this new strain to see which one performs better uh, uh, as a as a fishery. The day is spent from going to the truck, to the bucket, to the river. These fish are stocked with anglers in mind. We aren't stocking these fish to try to create a self-sustaining population. We're stocking these fish to provide a, a put and take fishery. We want anglers to come and take these fish. We stock trout into waterways where the habitat doesn't allow for, for natural survival. Often the water temperatures get too warm. But there's demand for a fishery, so we provide it through cultured fish. But the state wants to hear from you when you reel in a rainbow trout. A final decision about which strain they will continue to stock will be made by 2025. Really how we separate the two is before they're stocked, they receive two different fin clips. Uh, a left ventral fin clip uh, indicates it's the new Eagle Lake strain, whereas uh, a RV or a right ventral fin clip uh, represents the Irwin R. Lee strain. The state asks you to take a photo and submit on their website or using the app Vermont Outdoors. That data is data we will be using to make a final decision, so it's really valuable. Uh, this decision is designed to benefit anglers. We want anglers to help us make that decision. An opportunity to help guide fishing for years to come. In Huntington, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.